The surface of the alley was made of uneven cobblestone, very large cobblestone, and almost sort of still under construction. There were clothing lines strung across from one house to another, with clothes out drying on the line. There were trash cans lined up along the outside of the houses. Nothing particularly wrong with that, other than there were very large piles here and there. The alley was even more intimidating because a good portion of it was literally uphill. As they ascended uphill in the alley, there was an intersecting alley traveling from north to south. The further up they walked, the narrower the alley became until they were at a point where a person could literally lean out the window from one house and comfortably talk to another person across the alley in another house. Had Seller not been a young 19-year-old lad, he would have been exhausted just walking up the hill to the unauthorized location. As they were walking toward the alley, they had to clandestinely turn up the direction of the alley from the main street, not far from the pier. The brothers said to Sailor, just keep walking and don't look around. Don't look suspicious and no one will pay attention to you. Sailor was concerned because he spotted a couple of shore patrol and he knew if the SP would see them turning up the alley, they might get caught may end up with non-judicial punishment and possibly reduced in rank. Never mind the other guys, it was every man for himself if some trouble went down. But they made the turn into the alley and started their ascent, taking wide strides and stepping hard onto the ground. They were brisk walking uphill in anticipation for a life. They wanted to get to the location as soon as possible without detection and have their fun and return to the boat, conspicuously having accomplished their mission. All the while, Sailor's heart was pumping like a racehorse, and his adrenaline was a continuous flow of energy. He had readied himself and planned his escape route if they were to be pursued by the authorities. He paid close attention to the route they took and even the intersecting streets so he would not get caught had the law entered the vicinity. Now, this place was at the peak of the alley, which turned into a dead end hard up against what looked like the side of a mountain. It was about 9.30, maybe 10 p.m. And Sailor was over 4,000 miles away from home at a dead end alley in a foreign country about to do some things he knew to be wrong. Nonetheless, he could not wait to jump into the sinful way. Of-